What are you looking at? Oh, the silent majesty of a winter's morn, the clean, cool chill of a holiday air, and an asshole in his bathrobe emptying a chemical toilet into my sewer. So this is my review from Scott Atkins 2019 movie Avengement. It is on Netflix, but it's not a Netflix original. It's just on there. Um, so as you know, I am a came became a big fan of uh, Scott Atkins. Um, uh, a refreshment to you is if you don't know, he is a martial artist who is in the usually side B movies that tend to have a good but big budget or somewhat. He has. So the plot of this is, is a he's the young plays the young Scott plays the young brother of a a criminal ego organization boss who in England who ends up going to jail and uh, tries to survive by training himself and becoming something he's not wasn't originally in order to get out and get his revenge against who did him wrong. Um, half of this takes in, uh, uh, takes place in prison. The other half takes place in this bar. Uh, it starts out in the bar. And he does this kind of... Uh, what you get with these British movies. What I think of is um, that spy British movie. I can't think of the name of it. But it, 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 you get a lot of this, uh, of, uh, of that kind of feeling to it. I don't really to explain it. But what he does is he takes some hostage, these people hostage um, that are part of this organization. And he spins his yarn of his tale, of, uh, of uh, the lead up to where he is, how he got to where he is, why he looks like he is. And uh, it's definitely very, very entertaining uh martial arts the story was 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 definitely very very interesting i i did really enjoy i thought it was dead and well done um there's definitely some scenes and this has graphicness into it and the the teeth part in there uh i definitely had to look away because i already knew that was going to happen uh, as soon as they you saw his teeth in the beginning and then you see his um what they're what they're doing in the fight scenes and uh, he's definitely a very brutal person when it comes to this and the, the, i will say that the, there was a lot of blood in here but the lot of the almost of the blood is over dramatic as you would get with hollywood over splatter but at the same time it still looks real like it's real blood and it's not necessarily that hokey type of thing it's just from when you know logic of uh, how blood is and how it acts when you punch someone or whack someone uh it is that not going to be like that much and like that um if you know what i mean you've seen some like uh carantino films and stuff like well he's more of a extreme example but nonetheless you, you get where i'm going with that um, a lot of the fight scenes, I definitely, I, I, all the fight scenes, in fact, I actually definitely loved. Um, but that jail scene where they had the dramatic music, I was definitely getting into jamming into that. But it was just an, a really ex it, an awe-inspiring type of film. Uh, I mean, seeing in there where it was a montage of him kicking people's ass because apparently someone has... Uh, put a hit out of him uh, in the jail so everyone's coming at him. So he has to survive and he learns to train and all that. Even though he was already a, uh, it sounded like a martial art uh, boxer or something, he was supposed to fail and there's a whole story to that and the event what ends up him going to jail. Um, one of the, the, big parts in here that I actually just really felt pumped with as towards the end where they had this very overly drawn out fight scene and normally that's a bad thing but for me it was really good I got to see his whole his full on martial arts 
uh, skills in this. And they really did draw that out. And it was really, really cool. Uh, he just, like, flat out was a beast. And he was flat out uh, brutal. He was... Um, ended up killing them. And uh, after all that... And they kept coming, getting back up and doing that. You, you kind of get that with this type of film. S Part of that, that scene reminded me of the church scene. And uh, again, I don't remember this, the British spy movie. I'll have it up. But it reminds me of that church scene in the first one. You know, uh, that typical British thing. Because that is a British movie. Um, now, there, there's, of course, there's some parts in here that uh, you get kind of a B movie type of thing here. Where I would argue it's more of an A movie that leans a little bit towards the B movie side. Um, but the, the butt stock, uh, not even, I wouldn't say the butt stock, it was a pistol grip of a double barrel shotgun that was sawed off on both sides the grip and the, uh, I mean, the, the uh, stock and the barrels. Uh, was a little bit, the first time was a little bit unbelievable. The from the hit to the fact that he had nothing on him, not even a bruise, uh, not necessarily a big idea, that's more of a nitpick. Um, and definitely the head blowing off shot was definitely, you know, pretty, un uh, I mean, it was realistic probably because it was a shotgun, but I mean, it was just, you could tell it was CGI'd. Um, but none of it really took away from the story. Um, what you get with the, uh, with these martial arts movies, matter, matter if it's starring an Asian person, a black person, or a white person, because that's who they are, they, that's also big martial arts now, people, uh, art, actresses, actors, actors, uh, these days, uh, are, like, is usually Asian, black, and white, um, you you get kind of uh, these over the drawn uh, fight scenes, uh, like these over dramatic scenes, kind of like in uh, Kill Bill with uh, Lucy Liu, I think her name is, where they're all wearing masks and they're all drawn out. They didn't do like the whole they hit them and they all, a whole bunch fool back. That's Tarantino type of thing. Um, but what they did is the bartender threw a big bag of blunt objects onto the ground. And I automatically know what, what's going to happen. It's just like one person coming after another, two coming on to him, and then, then they beating the crap at each other, throwing across the room, you know, all that type of stuff. You know what I'm talking about if you've seen these type of films. Um, it, was, it wasn't a big deal. Actually, I, I thought that part was fun. And then it led up to it. Then it started going in into, again, the big fight scene. Oh man, I, I definitely really love this movie. I definitely am having a good day and it's made my day. Um, it was really good. I, I, I would have to say this is one of his best movies out there he did. Um, yeah, man, I, I really I really love the writing. I really love uh, the movie and it was really good. Uh, it wasn't just like a uh, bad story thrown in some um, uh, good martial arts because there's been some films I did a uh, review on and even ones I've seen are like that just you know fillers no this was this was a really good well done movie and I think he helped produce it or something um, I definitely give this 5 out of 5 axes uh, for sure um, but let me in the comments below what you thought um, I, I love you all and uh, I don't know what I'll be having out next I never do so I don't know why I say anything but yeah I again I love you all and uh, skull